So in this lecture, we are going to discuss a condition known as a rigor mortis. Rigor mortis is a condition uh, in which stiffness of the human body occur. Stiffness of the human body occur after death. When the human uh, body, uh, when a human dies, the the body of the human being uh, starts uh, getting stiff. And what is the mechanism of uh, this uh, rigor mortis or stiffness after death? Basically, we have discussed that um, the for the contraction of the skeletal muscles, uh, there is a uh, there is a there is some sort of connections between actin and myosin. And for the contraction of the actin and myosin, for the contraction of muscles, it is very important that calcium comes, calcium comes into the body, and it acti it activates the head of the myosins, heads which are uh, present on the cross bridges of the uh, cross bridges on the of the myosin filament, and after activation of the uh, head of the actin uh, myosin filament it starts contracting it starts contracting the actin filament which results in contraction of um, the muscle or which results in decreasing uh, the distance between two z lines or sarcomeres which we have already discussed in the last few lectures and that results into uh, contraction of the muscle when a person dies, the aerobic respiration is finished, and the cells of a cell uh, of a muscle fiber, the membrane of a muscle fiber, it becomes very much permeable to the entry of calcium. So a lot of calcium comes in, and it starts activating the actin myosin filament, and a compound uh, known as ectomyosin complex uh, ectomyosin complex uh, which is a basically a complex of actin and myosin that is formed and it results in stiffening or con due to contraction stiffness occur due to contraction of the muscles and that contraction is basically due to the entry of uh, calcium normally when calcium enters into the human body and contraction has occurred uh, this calcium is removed with the help of ATP when we are breathing and respiration is uh, going on in the body, ATPs are generated which are basically a form of energy and this ATP removes calcium. When a person has died, no oxygen is coming to the cells. When no oxygen is coming, and no, ATP is, uh, no, no ATP is formed. So a lot of calcium is entering the cells. A lot of calcium is entering the cells. And this calcium is interacting here, 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 here with all the heads of the cross bridges of the myosin filament and it is resulting in a lot of um, contraction of the muscles and that results overall stiffening of the body, of the dead body. And this process is known as rigor mortis and that's the mechanism behind rigor mortis. So what's the importance of uh, rigor mortis? The medical legal importance of uh, medical legal importance. It's basically uh, the rigor mortis only starts uh, within 10 minutes to 3 hours of the death of the human body. So it can only start within 10 minutes or up to 3 hours uh, after death of the uh, human. And it uh, reaches its peak within 12 hours to 24 hours. So it reaches its peak contraction within uh, 12 hours to 24 hours and then it lasts for up to three days so after three days uh, a lot of enzymes comes and a lot of enzymes starts uh, destroying the actin and myosin uh, proteins and these proteins are hydrolyzed when the proteins have been hydrolyzed then there is the contraction is finished so the rigor mortis also uh, gets uh, finished or it is completed that is known as resolution of the resolution of
of rigor mortis. Rigor basically is stiffening and this stiffening can occur in a uh, normal human being with uh, due to high temperature as well but rigor mortis it is basically uh, after death mortis so uh, rigor mortis it is basically stiffness of the uh, body after death and the reason being a lot of calcium enters the uh, muscle fiber results into uh, contraction of the actin and myosin filaments and that contraction cannot be um, removed because ATPs are required for removal of calcium and ATPs are formed due to oxygen due to respiration when the human or the person has died uh, there is no respiration no oxygen no ATP no removal of calcium so the contraction continues the contraction only get finished when death enzymes the enzymes which uh, are released after death they basically destroy the actin and myosin and when the destruction of actin and myosin the, the stiffness is over and uh, then that is known as the resolution of rigor mortis. The medical legal importance is that the death, uh, dead body uh, can um, the, the duration of murder sometimes can be determined uh, because there are some fixed times it basically starts within 10 minutes to 3 hours depending upon the temperature of the environment if the temperature is high then the uh, rigor mortis will start early and if the temperature is low then it will take time it will start with some delay and then the peak of rigor mortis is within 12 to 24 hours and it mostly lasts for three days so these these time durations these parameters help the forensic department to uh, determine the cause of um, murder or death or whatever so that's all about rigor mortis thanks a lot for watching the video